For this next tutorial, we're going to look at creating a simple model um, based off a, I guess, a reference image. So something like this here. Now this looks quite complex, but keep in mind that most of this stuff we're going to do by finding some textures to replace this area. We're going to also make this modular. What I mean by that is I'm only going to make one copy of this thing here. Now you don't have to use this reference image, um, but some kind of simple sci-fi hallway uh, might be okay. If you want to do something else, you can, but try and keep it fairly simple. So I'm just going to keep this reference image. I'll keep bringing it back across so that you can see how I'm progressing on it. Um, but I'm just going to work on the hallway. I'm not going to worry about this side bit here, just this hallway going down with the lights on the roof, the, thing, the panel there. Um, I'm going to keep this person in here just for scale, uh, but keep in mind, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to delete them because I want to work with the Unity measurements. And I'm just going to start by creating the uh, base for the hallway, so the actual floor. And I'm going to make that probably about um, four wide and then maybe 12 long. And then if I hit this zoom extents button, it'll bring that in and I can shift and pan up and zoom out a little bit and rotate around. Now I'm just going to click on that object, right click and group it. And that's so that I don't accidentally make any joins or anything with that. Now you'll notice that the top of it is kind of a blue and the underside is white. I actually want it to be the other way around. So I'm going to click on that and reverse faces. The white side is the top side or the, the facing plane. The blue side is the reverse side. Um, in Unity, when that goes in, it won't render. So you'll be able to see through it on that side. And this side, you'll see the texture that's applied to it. So now I'm just going to create, and I'll probably do this using a combination of uh, push-pull. And I'll just start off fairly straightforward. Um, I don't need to be too exact in this part here. I'm going to make a little rectangle, pull it up, and then on this side, there's lots of different ways that I could do this. I'm just going to make a rectangle, pull that up to about there, and then join these like this down here. Erase this bit here. And I might have to go in and just erase that line there as well. And on the other side, same deal. Erase any little lines that show up. So I've got a shape like that. Um, for the next bit, I'm just going to drag that up there, across and down so it's parallel with this. If I move my cursor over it, you'll see I get that purple line saying it's parallel. And I will pull that out just a bit like that there. Now I'll just show you what I've done so far. I've just worked on this little bit down here. And so the next bit I'm going to make is that bit that goes up there. So to do that, it's going to be fairly straightforward. And you kind of have to think creatively in SketchUp with how you're going to accomplish some of the stuff that you want to do. So what I'm going to do here is actually just draw, starting at the back, going to about there, just going to draw straight across. Now, it might not let me sometimes. So what I might have to do is actually use the line tool to draw across from there, draw a straight line out to about there, and then rotate around here, go to about there. A lot of the time you don't need to be too accurate with this stuff. And then I'm going to draw down onto the face, kind of like how I did the, the chimney last time. Hit escape and draw another one down onto the face, directly on the blue axis. Go across, join that down there, join that down there. I can erase those. Uh, no, I don't want to erase those lines. I want to erase that one though, because then I'm going to pull this part up. And I'll probably want to erase that line at some stage, but I'm going to pull this up probably 2.5. That's definitely way too much. So I'll just undo that and pull it up uh, 1.8. That should be pretty good because I'm going to take it a bit higher after that. So 1.8 to there. Now looking at that line, I'm going to move it. I'm just going to draw another line that comes up to probably 
from here up to about here connect that down there that didn't do a very good job get it straight down there erase that bit there and then push this in just a little bit not too much just a little bit I could actually do all this with textures but um, I'm not going to this time around okay so from there I could probably actually push that up a whole lot more and keep going a little bit so I can actually just grab that surface there and pull that up All right, so I've got part of my shape now it's not 100% accurate it's going up here I could probably pull that out a little bit more and give it some more volume um, not going to worry too much about it because what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to group that section I'm going to group it I will probably ungroup it later on but when I'm making the next bit that goes across the top in case I make a mistake I don't want to have to redo everything so this bit here I'm going to grab the pen tool I'm going to try and get it at a 45 degree angle. It probably won't happen, so I might have to make some small adjustments here, such as drawing that line straight up. Doesn't really matter what direction. Hitting escape. Now I'm going to use the rotate tool. And what I'm going to do with this rotate tool is grab that line that I just had before, which should be right there. And I'm going to make sure that this is going to be quite hard to explain. If the rotate tool is like that, it's going to rotate around the Y axis. So kind of twist it around, which won't change it because the line is already vertical. If I do it like that, it's going to rotate it along the uh, green axis. And if I do it this way, it's going to rotate it along the red axis. In my case, I want to rotate it along the green axis. When I click, it'll let me kind of set the initial point doesn't really matter I'm just going to make it face up and then I'm going to turn it until it snaps to 45 degrees I can just type 45 in and hit enter and I've got my 45 degree line so I'm going to use that as a reference point and then from there I'll draw the rest of the things in using uh, the parallel projection so I'll just move over there and go up to here until that snaps to there then I can draw that across there and then over here, I'm just going to draw that down to connect with that. I'll give that a push through to the other edge there. So now I've got that shape there, which looks fairly, fairly decent. Um, one thing I am going to do is just draw a circle from this point, not the whole way out. Erase this little line here. Ooh, careful not to erase that module. Ah, oh, that is the module. I don't need to erase it and pull that out just a little bit then because I'm working with these lines on an angle I may have to be careful in how I do this so I'm just going to add some detail here making sure I get those purple lines parallel just push that in just a tiny bit. I'm going to erase this line down here. Okay, so I've got some detail there. We will erase those lines at one stage. Um, the next thing I need to do, oh, that top doesn't look quite right. If I go view, um, sorry, camera, standard views, isometric, I should be able to see that is pretty straight along the top, so that's good camera standard views uh, front cool all right so that's looking good there uh, what I actually should have done is instead of making that there what I'm going to do is modify this part here a little bit so actually bring this down cut that down to there I seem to have undone it and then erase this part on the front Oops. I might be able to get away by pushing it to the end and that'll delete it pushing this bit through and probably just taking a bit of time to erase this stuff carefully around here I may need to fix up 
some of the, ugh, I'll just have to undo that. Okay, let's see, how am I gonna do this? I'll just draw the line all the way around, from there to there, from there to there. And this is what I mean with um, odd sketch up stuff. So I should now be able to safely erase these lines. There we go, and then this bit here is the only part that needs erasing there. Okay, so now I've got that bit that's gonna go along here, so I'm gonna pull that pretty much most of the way along. Okay, that's weird. Let's just push that in. Oh, there's some weird things going on here. I'm just gonna to have to undo it a bit. Let's get rid of that bit on there. Just undo that. Okay, we'll add that detail in later. Let's grab the midpoint there. Pull that straight down on the blue face. And then I should just be able to push this away. It's gone. Okay, from here now I'll get that across there. I'll pull it most of the way across. We'll go, in my case I might go um, two. Because then I'm going to add a little bit here. I'm going to draw a line. About there. And also just across there. And across there. So there's a better way to do this. If I pull that across to two. And then I click that push pull again and hit control it'll make a little plus button. Uh, and it makes a copy of it instead of me having to draw all those lines on it. So from here, I'm gonna grab this face and just move it down slightly on the blue axis. Just uh, maybe about 0.3. Oh, no, that's too far. Maybe 0.03. Yep. About 0.1. Yeah, that's good, 0.1. So I'll move that down. I'll grab the pull tool move it across a bit, and then control, add that plus in again, and then grab that move, move it back up, I might have to zoom in, the move tool, grab it back up, it should snap, and then what I'm going to do is grab the move tool, and just move it so it's in line with this here. If I click this edge, it'll move across. Okay, so I've got my top bit there. I could add some detail to it, and I might just quickly do that. Easiest way is just to use the inset tool and carefully inset it just a little bit by moving to there like that. Push it in just a bit. And I can do the same with these other ones as well. I just double click on that, double click on that, and push them in just a little bit. So I've got some detail there. Could do it on the other side as well, I won't worry about it this time. So I've got that edge there, and if I triple click on that area, I'm gonna right click and just group that for now so I don't undo it for any reason later on. Now from here, the next step is to make the right hand side panel, which I can't really see what it looks like from here, so I'm just going to um, make a fairly simple one. So I'll just make a, a rectangle down here. That's going to be pretty small. I'll make it line up with that one on the other side. Bring it in, make it like that. That looks good. Pull that up, give it some volume. In this one, I'll give it a bit more volume. I'll control. Move this point in. I want to move it in so that it oh, doesn't really matter in this case. And then pull this bit here all the way up to here. And I can probably now just erase all of these bits and use the push tool to push that side so it's even with that, push that side so it's even with that, um, use the offset 
to offset that, push that in. So it's even with that face there. And then lastly, I might just add some more detail down here. So I'll use the offset tool again. Oops, I might draw a line across here. Sometimes you've got to be careful where you draw those lines because I want to draw the inside to the inside here. And I'm going to actually pull that bit out and then pull it out again. So it's like that. Okay, so there's my surface. Down the bottom, I will just pull that out. So I'll draw from there to there, from there to there, and pull that out so it lines up with that there. Okay, so there's my kind of hallway. I'll make that a group. And now those three group things, I'm just going to select all three and make them a component. Actually, I won't do that. I will select all three and right click explode. Makes it all one thing. Select everything except the bottom. So I can shift, so I can push control A to select everything. Shift click to make sure the bottom is not selected. Right click, make this a component and I'll call it um, support one. Hall. I'll click create and that bit's done. So what I'm going to do with this here is I'm going to copy it using the move tool. So I'm going to grab one of these corners here, probably this one, hold control and then move it all the way down and snap it to this end here. Once I've done that, I'm going to hit divide it by four. So forward slash four and hit enter. That will make four even bits all the way down. So, so far, I've got the basic outline happening here. Save that, finish it in the next video. or well, we'll continue it in the next video. It'll take a little while to get through this one. Um, keep in mind, you can add more detail, okay? This has got some nice painting on it. This is not a model, it's a painted concept. Um, we're gonna add some textures to ours. And what we're going to try to do is make a sh small little texture map so we don't have to import um, heaps of different uh, textures into Unity. We can just import the one texture. Uh, hopefully we'll see if we can sort out that issue where the models are not actually importing with textures into Unity. Um, I think it's a privileges issue and we might have to check um, your privileges in, uh, in your login and see if we can get that sorted out.